everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Amelia and I do videos on luxury and lifestyle. So if you like this kind of videos, do consider subscribing. I'm going to place the subscribe button either here or here. Uh, and I'd love to see you for the upcoming videos because I have quite a few videos lined up for you. So today we'll be doing unboxings, which I know a lot of people do like. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. A big bag over here <sighs> it's such a big bag but actually I do have two things inside here and they're both dead sandals one is from here from MS and the other one is from Fendi obviously because of the box so we have two unboxings one is from Fendi and one is from MS they're both new I've not opened them yet because I want to open them with you guys here on the internet so as you know i've been obsessed with my dead sandal so this video is essentially like a dead sandal obsession video because these two new sandals are dead sandals um i brought out my old i brought out my old chanel dead sandals for you so i thought maybe in this video we can do like a slight comparison kind of thing as well so these are the Chanel Dead Sandals which I've had for maybe a year or I think I bought this in 2020? I can't remember. I, th I think maybe early 2021, I really can't remember but I wore it so much, it's quite beaten up uh, and I love it. It's so good, so comfortable, literally goes with everything casual. I mean, I don't think you can wear like super formal stuff with that sandals it being sandals um so yeah maybe would you like to start with the fendi because it's on the top here uh so the thing about this pair of sandals um my fendi essay actually actually i actually got invited to the fendi uh preview for four is it four let me check four winter collection so the thing about this one is I actually got invited to the Fendi Fall Winter 2022-2023 collection uh, preview. So basically if you've never been to a preview, it's quite like a special thing. Uh, I will, This took place in where? Fendi uh, MBS? Fendi MBS. Yeah, so this took place in Fendi MBS and they had like models and then they had a host and there's canapes, there's champagne, <laughs> like you just eat and shop I guess. So uh, I thought it was really nice so, because they actually show you all the different looks that uh, were coming out and obviously you get to have first dips into the items because you are there for the preview lah. So, I managed to get my hands on this which I already know I'm going to get before I actually went for the preview because I saw this girl uh, her name is uh, Ainura here on YouTube I saw her unbox this and I was like oh my god I really really want that um, and I knew it was coming out the collection itself so uh, I placed an order for it there was actually one on that day itself uh, in my size which is the most popular size 37 I guess so I was going to check out of it, I was already going to pay for it. I saw a nick at the bottom and I was like, oh, I don't really want it anymore. Like, I, I want a new piece, but it didn't have a new piece. So they, my essay was, my essay kindly contacted someone from the HQ to ship uh, another one in size 37 over to me. And that's how I got it. I had to wait like a couple of weeks for it. So here it is. Uh, I'm just going to unbox it with you guys. Seen. I, I guess I saw this in the shop but I've not actually worn it. I was intending to film this video before I actually wore it out. So it looks like that. Comes with uh, two different dust bags. I gotta put this down. So in the dust bag, which says, which says Fendi. Ta-da! It's this uh, Birkenstock looking like sandals. Uh, let me just take both out. Oh, 
Oh, they're so pretty. So, uh, basically, it looks like that. It has the Fendi FF uh, print, canvas print over it. And then it comes with like the gold buckle as, as well. You can see it comes with the gold buckle as well. And then the rest is just like full of this uh, brown leather over here. And the bottom is just like plain rubble. I've not worn this out, obviously. So yeah, it's really nice. I might do some videos of me wearing this and styling this once I wear it out. <laughs> Uh, which I intend to after this video but yeah it's a typical Birkenstock looking like sandals uh, just like a jazzed up version um, actually I told my essay this one confirm will sell like hotcakes uh, so I'm definitely taking this <laughs> which it did because like I think they only brought in like uh, two in my size and like for various sizes maybe they only brought bring in like a few pairs it's super hard to get because it's so popular look at it i feel like a lot of people will definitely be eyeing this up because it's just so classic and then look at the white trimming here it's so pretty so so pretty so yeah i don't actually own a pair of Birkenstocks myself like the normal pairs uh i did own one like when I was super young, I think in secondary school or something Was it? Or JC? I can't remember But yeah, this is like my new Birkenstocks So I, I really like them So that's one uh, Yeah I mean, I'm not sure if you still can get it I would suggest that you contact uh, an SA or go down to a store to actually ask for them, maybe maybe they are actually able to bring it in from overseas, who knows right? So I would suggest that you actually go into a store to try your luck at that. So that's the fancy one. And then the next one is from MS. To be very honest, uh, I took this because um, there wasn't any other piece. I actually requested for this many many months ago. Um, in, and I'm a 37.5 in the Orans so I read a lot of reviews that for this pair you actually need to size up I think it's a very good indication of what this is um, yeah you actually need to size up like at least one size bigger but I thought like 38 would make sense but my essay keeps saying that oh you should just take your normal orange size nor then I keep trying to tell him no you cannot because I read all these reviews that it's so it runs small so anyway um, he insisted on 37.5 and then one day he just texted me in the morning he was like your shoes are here <laughs> I was just like okay so I went in tried it yes it's a tad bit small did I take it in the end still? Yes, I did because like I just couldn't leave it there knowing that it's so hard to get and if it really doesn't come in size 38, I think I'll be okay with this pair. So I'm not sure when I'm going to wear this pair out because I'm maybe just going to wait a while and see if, you know, like it comes in my size, like the proper size. But anyway, here it is. Do you already know what it is? I think a lot of you already would know what this is. So same thing, it comes with two dust bags. Let me just take that out of the dust bags so that I can show them to you properly. Uh, this is highly, highly sought after, highly coveted. I can't believe I've been searching for this like ages. Uh, yeah. Ta-da! <laughs> They are the new, uh, not exactly new, these are the MS Shipri sandals. I hope I pronounced it correctly because everyone calls it a different thing, but I'm pretty sure it's called Shipri. Shipri, Shiper, Chipper, I don't know, but I call these Shipri sandals. So they are essentially like um, Birkenstock like that sandals as well. Uh, it comes with, so the one that I got is black leather throughout. It comes with the black leather here and then there's a velcro here as well that you can secure your leg and this come this came in 37.5 which is like just a smidge smaller just a smidge smaller but 
because you see here there is a groove here so my feet actually lands up over here i guess so yeah if you are ever looking for the ms chipri sandals i would really highly suggest you either half size up or go an entire size up <clears throat> i thought half size is better for me because actually i'm like a 37 37.5 but i usually depending on what shoes is it then i go with either 37 or 37.5 so i think this one 38 should be fine for me so at the bottom of the sandals it also comes with like these like pattern here which i thought was really nice yeah i was only looking for like the black leather pair they came with uh i tried the ones that have the shilling on it the furry ones but i was only looking for the furry ones in the teal color which didn't come in my size they actually have this in like the furry furry material uh in in one like beige which i thought was really nice but i just actually when i wore it on i thought it was a bit slippery because it's so fuzzy right it's like doesn't really stay on your foot properly I would say for the fuzzy shearling kind of sandals, the orange actually fit better because I've very actually already tried it on. They actually fit and like stay on your foot properly instead of like the furry ones in the shippery style. So that's something to take note of if you want to go in and try. Uh, but yeah, these are the new shippery sandals. I didn't know if I wanted to get it in black because it looks so similar to the Chanel ones. So. I guess I can do a comparison between these two. Uh, essentially, the MS one. So the MS ones actually come in women sizing and male sizing. The male sizing was obviously too big because I think they only start the male size from like thirty nine onwards. So if you have bigger feet, uh, you actually can consider going for the male sizes because they're just bigger lah. But it also means that this part here. The width it's also slightly larger so it depends on what kind of foot you have if you have a narrow foot i i would suggest that you go for the women sizing if you have a slightly wider foot actually the male sizing works better as well uh the male sizing i think the age looks slightly different like maybe it's a bit elongated but it also comes with like a velcro strap over here i have seen some versions whereby it comes with like another strap at the back which is similar to the the Chanel ones but this one this one doesn't come with the strap at the back which I think I prefer then you can just slip your foot in and just go uh, yeah I have heard like or have seen like videos where people say that uh, the shippery sandals actually hurt their foot uh, because the like the sewing part inside here where it touches your foot um, I can vouch for that it is slightly uh, rough I would say so um, I think was it Amy Amy posted a video like fashionably Amy she posted a video and then she recommended like putting like pads over here like some velcro pads to like so that it doesn't it doesn't touch your foot so that it's more comfortable that way so actually I thought it was a great hack because uh, to be honest, I think the left side was okay for me, but the right side really did uh really did rub a little bit <laughs> in the store when I was trying it on la. So I was like, okay, I can see what everyone is talking about right now. Eh? Was it the right side? Maybe it was the left side. I can't remember. But it's definitely one of the sides whereby the this part where the velcro is, the stitching uh is is a little bit rough. So that's something to take note of. Uh, so comparing this with the the Chanel ones, the Chanel ones actually have held up really well. This is made of lambskin. So I think this one is... I have no idea what leather this is, man. <laughs> uh, but it's the smooth leather. Definitely not Epsom. So it's the smooth leather, which I quite like the look of. Uh, so this Chanel one is actually quilted. It also has a foot bait that rises up. So... Uh, for Chanel ones, I would say that even though I have the one in 37, uh, I'm in between 37 and 37.5. So uh, perhaps the 37.5 will work a little bit better if you are a 37.5 or an. So <laughs> just for sizing reference, if you are the same size as me, this one comes with two. <clears throat> this one comes with two Velcro straps while the MS one only comes with one. So you can't adjust the 
narrowness or you can't adjust the width for the MS ones here because it's quite static so if you have white feet I suggest you go in and try them out first so yeah that's all for my uh, dead sandals obsession uh, if you like this video do remember to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video bye guys I should have done a thumbnail first. Damn it! Okay, never mind. Two thousand years later. Oh no, it looks so ugly now without the ribbon.